Hi, I'm Meg, um, Incubator's new Global Chief People Officer. I'm really delighted to be a part of such an amazing organisation and culture who are really at the forefront of transforming the way digital marketing is uh, growing and changing around the world. Um, I've joined as part of a wonderful leadership team who really want to push forward that transformation that puts AI and automation at the heart of how we do business, working with amazing clients and putting clients really out at the heart of our strategy in a really global and integrated way uh, with all of the offerings that we have as a business. So I'm really excited to get started and work with this amazing team to go on that journey. I mean, there's so much I'm excited about about this role, but one of the things that really um, came across to me when I was going through my interview process was the real genuine desire to want to drive transformation, but putting people at the heart of that. Um, and I can't wait to work with the leadership team. I'm only on day seven um, so far to be able to really drive that and create that true global integration in the way that we do work for our clients and putting clients at the heart of everything that we do, even more so than we do today. Um, there's a real humility in the organization to recognizing what we can do better and wanting to make those change happen that change happen at pace I'm pretty sporty I'd like to think and I like to go on do adventurous things uh, but when I was a teenager I decided much to my parents dismay that I was going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro on my own for charity uh, needless to say I hadn't really done any trekking or any camping or anything like that and I will never forget on day one halfway up the mountain or well, the first bit of the mountain uh, asking the team uh, that were helping us where the toilet was and they were like they pointed to a bush and went it's there and I went but I don't need a number one anyway enough said it was a pretty uh you know eye-opening experience but one I really treasure and made some uh, lifelong friends with uh, and taught me a lot about my own personal resilience so don't really watch that much tv which I know I'm a bit weird but I did binge suits completely end-to-end -end through lockdown and I absolutely love Line of Duty so if you haven't watched either of those I know they're pretty obvious ones but they are the ones I love anything political a bit dark a bit you know the piece of advice I'd give my younger self is and it might seem obvious but it's definitely true which is um, believe in yourself uh, I definitely have as much as I think people don't believe it, uh, quite heavy imposter syndrome. I definitely uh, set incredibly high standards for myself and that kindness to look after the, as I call it, little Meg, to get vulnerable sometimes and to recognize what I really needed and to recognize I'm not as bad as I always beat myself up to be is definitely the advice I would give my younger self. <laughs>